What's up YouTube, Dazwa Beats back with another video. If this is your first time to the channel, as always, welcome. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification button to get notified whenever I drop some heat. Alright, still trying to get the, cha the channel to uh, 500 subscribers. Right now I'm at um 400. At the making of this video, I'm at 400. So, I've been getting a lot of views. For the past week, I think I had over like a thousand views, but I'm only getting like two subscribers. So if you're watching this, go ahead, subscribe, come back, and let's get it, all right? Today, what I'm doing is random beat. So let's get it. Just a simple, just a simple chord progression. That's it. All right. What we gonna do? We gonna see these notes right here. This middle one. Control D. This one. Control D. All right, so everything is separated. Then we're going to take the top ones. And just drop them down. And see what that sound like. That was cool. Let's just hit Alt, move it to the right, hit Shift, bring it back up, and just move it back. Now let's go. Let's hear what that sound like. I right, remember that first, the first notes we did. These ones. Let's just drop them one octave lower. So you had that bass, that bottom bass. All right. So right now, what we're gonna do? Try to make some top melodies for this. So what we're gonna do? Label this our progression. And then what we're gonna do is go to track two and build a top note on there. Normally, I'll take the notes from there, bring it in here, and then move them around. But today, we're just going mess around all right let's go all right i don't like how that sounds so let's go back into expand and on the second one we're gonna find our own the own its own sound so we're gonna change the midi channel to two and then change this right here to two. Bang. And find, let's find like a bell. Let's do a bell. All right, let's have something else with the bell. So let's change this to two, two. So now both of these is gonna play one time on this channel. So let's find something to complement the bell. 
Ah, uh, let's put a let's find a synth lead something. I don't know. Let's go. Before we hit record, we gotta figure out what we're trying to do, so let's play around. off the grid so what we could do is hold control shift and T go to one fourth for the start so we need to move them back and then hit do it all right so what we gonna do now just call this let's just call this top all right then we gonna go to track three first we gonna copy the this at track two Control A, Control C. If you hold Control and hit bracket key, left or right, the bracket key, it bring you. It just auto on your keyboard. It automatically bring you, so you can change the chant, the tracks. All right, so change the tracks. Hit Shift and Stop to bring the playhead. Bring the playhead back. Shift, Stop, Control V, and it place it right in time. Right. The only thing is, remember these started over here. I think it started in here, right? But this note, we're gonna make sure this note comes here because we're gonna use this as an arpeggiator. All right. Turn track three down. Bring um. Let's do Doom. Let's use Doom. Uh. Ba -ba -ba. So once we're in Doom. Once we play, we're going to turn the volume up on the arpeggiator a little bit loud. You know, just gradually turn it up so we can hear what it sounds like. Sounds good to me. The first note I pick... Let's just leave it as that, all right? We're going to change the, you know, tweak some of the knobs a little bit so it won't be the stock sound that came with it. All right, let's find some drums, claps, shakes, hi-hats. Let's bring this volume down some so you can hear that. Hear the clap with it. We want to humanize not the time, but let's humanize the um let's humanize the velocity.
So let's go ahead and just find a base. So here's the base. We use the um, baseline. From the air music. It came with the um it was an update to the MPC and that was on the update the I think it was the two point two point something where they came with their standalone VST that's actually built inside the um inside the software or inside your if you have a live or whatever the take on the road is actually built inside of it. Alright, so we're gonna use the baseline VST from that and this is it solo it all right you hear that little kick like a kick i don't want that kick so what we're gonna do is overlap it hold shift now it should be cool Let's bring it down a little bit. Bring the volume down a little bit. Then we're gonna play it with our with our beat. All right, YouTube. I'ma leave it off there for now. If this your first time to the channel. As always, welcome. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification button to get notified whenever I drop some heat. Alright? So without further ado, we just going to turn it up, let it play out, and I'm going to see you at the next one. Please don't forget to click another video at the end of this video. Help me get this channel to that 500 subscribers, and let's get it. Alright, YouTube? Without further ado, we're going to turn it up. And you know my motto is always, I like to say, Tony up!